Guy lost the anal beads. Oh, you got dude. done by anal beads. It was anal beads. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Tonight I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Blake from Blake Goes Face. I don't have anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> How unfortunate. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, let's start with you. Obviously, it was a lack of cheating because you didn't have anal beads. But yeah, so that's the problem. So that's the issue. Um, I rebuilt my deck. Didn't play locals because I forgot it. Went home. Uh, played more Master Duel again. So what we end up doing is uh, we'll all just sit on Discord and like play random stuff. Uh, and all? Yeah. Like us, not you. Yeah, I, I, I picked up on that because no, I don't no, know no, about no, this. Not, we don't get invited. To no, this. so Clearly. There's, there's a league chat, and I don't want to play league. So what I'll do is I'll sit in there and watch like Loz and Luke and Lewis play league, and then I'll not do that, and I'll either play TFT or I'll play Master Duel. So I'll just like jam Master Duel in the background instead of you know playing. <laughs> um, so yeah, cool. <laughs> okay. Ben. My week was fine. I have opted to begin playing uh, Runic. Just for the fun of it. He's in his Joker phase. Yeah, <laughs> just, just for the fun of seeing who live I in can... a society. If I can deck someone out, life is good. Uh, on Sunday, I managed to deck someone out. I, I won a match, so I decked someone out twice. Yeah. And then tonight, I decked someone out twice. Uh, that deck just loses in time. I've realised that if I win game one, I just need to scoop game two. Okay. Like just on the spot, scoop into. Like present deck, opponent cut, draw five cards, scoop. Oh yeah. Fair. Yeah. Because like there is no way for you to win in time. Right, you don't have inherent yeah. burn like every uh, no. deck that like, is played. Yeah. I am fundamentally going like it is first blood. Pass. 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 Just praying that there is no damage coming at me as I try and deck my opponent out. Yeah. But it it works out sometimes. It works out sometimes, sometimes not. Maybe good, sometimes, sometimes maybe, maybe she. she. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see this list going <coughs> X2 to YCS, but hey, <coughs> sometimes you can make it's people It's funny to deck here. out, yeah. What about you? Um, my week was okay. Um, so coming off the back <laughs> of uh, winning last week, I've been doing pretty average, pretty much coming like X1 most tournaments. Um, just getting more and more familiar with the combos Did you play of four locals this week. No, I didn't play Saturday. Fuck me! I just realised there's four locals you could attend. Yep. Yeah, but I was um, at a party on Saturday. Regional season. Get on that grind. Did regionals that I can't go to. Um, <laughs> Saturday game. But yeah, learning. <laughs> They're on the Jacob day. Yeah, that that, that day. Um, Thank you, Pinot Gallery, for the, the yeah, Getting more familiar with um, the two element combos now that I'm playing the more. Uh, the seals, danger. The seals going off. Oh, the seal. Um, yeah, and I made a couple of misplays along the way, um, like just not looking at what materials I had engraved, and I was starting to trigger things and realizing, oh, if I do this, I go neg. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. It's called playing runic without the field spell. Yeah. Yeah, there is that. Um, other than that, I haven't been playing a lot of Master Duel of late, but I should be getting back into that soon. I just jump on for like three or four games, then I jump back off. Amen. Um, but speaking of Master Duel, uh, we have many things to discuss. Bum, 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 bum. Um, into the talks early. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're, on, we're on the roll. We're, we're done, I think. Okay. Um, so, a little while ago, you might have seen the Master Duel ban list came out, and you might have been thinking, well, if this list is so good, why isn't there a Master Duel ban list too? And there was! Uh, what, two weeks after the last ban list, they've decided to update it again. Okay. Uh, so I, I, had I the have... previous one come into effect yet? Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. just. Because I remember logging on and being like, ah, oh, no, no, yeah, okay. What if they're switching to the monthly ban list like was promised at the start? That would be really good. Um, yeah. And it would uh, line up with the time frame because this one comes into effect as of the end of this month. Yeah. Because uh, they remember I for have... the first ban list oh, yeah. they ever released, they were like, next, uh, we will, this will be the month, uh, ban list for the next month. Yes. Yeah, and everyone like, went specifically wait. like fourteenth to fourteenth. So it was like maybe they are just switching to doing a month. It would be now. really good if they did month, that. We're gonna get one. Yeah, uh, I have seen one card on this accidentally because I thought it accident. Was you pulled the phone from no, me. No, no, but I didn't realize it was a ban <laughs> list. I thought they were just releasing cards, and I was like, cool. And then I saw one with a number, and I was like, okay, I won't look. It's so, a ban list. Uh, we start with bans. Uh, oh, yes, get banned. Good. <laughs> yes. The good one ban is how Fibrax. So you mean something the TCG couldn't do for the last two years? Yes. See. However, it must all still not addressing the problem. Yeah, fair. 
Ah, uh, Rurudon's legal. It is. Yeah, it's fine. If, if yeah. someone can full of Rurudon come me without a Hulk, they deserve it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It is deserve You know it. what? That's the world we live in. Fair like, enough. You, you done well, man. You know that rank 7 that spams tokens is absolutely like legal in there, right? Yeah. That's how they do it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. If someone wants to play level 7s in the deck, off they go. <laughs> yeah, that's really <laughs> hard in Sword Soul 10 year. Off they go. <laughs> yeah, fair. Anyway, apparently do it without care. Uh, limits. We had yes. uh, Spellbook of Judgment. Asterix. Yeah. This card is getting released. This is a card that will just be released into the game at one. Right. Technically, so... the banned cards aren't there. Yes. We'll get into that yeah. point on a se- in a second. Yeah. Um, okay. But yes, it'll be brought into the fray as of the 30th, at which point it'll be at one. Yeah. I... Um, I'm not sure if they've released it in the structure. Um, which we mentioned but that would be really funny it is in the structure deck oh that's super yeah. funny the structure deck comes out on the 30th though I yeah. think they called that this could come back into the TCG so I'm very curious to see what it'll do now, now legal in every format not the TCG yeah the reason they're bringing it in in Master Duel is because they brought up a shit structure deck and realised oh no one's going to buy this oh I know yeah. no one's going to buy the spellbook yeah. structure deck if we don't put judgement in here yeah fair uh, and goes. two, we have Rivalry. Oh, did we skip over the Enchantress? Oh, sorry, we did, yeah. Sorry, Enchantress, Enchantress one. one. Oh, sorry. wow. So they, like, bap, bap. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Gets I printed that's... at two. Yeah. <laughs> goes to one. one. Literally, yeah. card never been at three. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, back on to uh, semi limits. We have <laughs> Rivalry and Gozen. Um, Fair. You know what? Fair cop. Yeah. Fair Club games yeah. are bad. Get rid of them. Yeah. Uh, Rageki at two. Rageki. Sure. Rageki. We have it at three, right? Uh, well, in the TCG, yes. Three and yeah. Yes. Uh, Trishula at three. The, the, at two. At two the, Sorry, two. Which, which two, Trish? Two. 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 Uh, the Synchro one. Synchro okay. Trish, two. Synchro sure. Trish, two. Uh, wind up Zen Mains at two. 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 Okay. Oh, wait, is that the good one? Hunter's Band, I think. That one. Oh, shit! Yeah, Hunter's oh, Band. Oh, shit. Uh, Hunter Band? Hunter's Band. Okay. In fairness, the statement I have always made is give me that takeaway hunter and I'll yes. do the thing. Yes. Right. Well, in Master Duel you can. Oh, it, it can. Oh, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Saying I, it like I personally brought oh, it to Jacob. You did! It was you! You presented me with the information, therefore you are responsible. You have never played this deck with the Link and the Edge. With, no, not with not with both. Despite me handing you a playset of the Links at the time of release. Because I still... I try... I, Jake... Jake, I tried, <laughs> and it didn't do what I needed it to do. It, if you opened very well, it, it was it, actually really good. Yes. The All issue right. was, you lose to every hand trap. <laughs> yes, that would. That is specifically the issue. Cross out, sales ban, prosp. Consistency is there for those decks. Yeah, but the problem is, when it all funnels to one point that gets fucked by Ash, you're like, yes. cool, I, I'll get to here. I have crossed out of your Ash. Time to infinite loop. Nibiru? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, I will <laughs> sweeping declaration. I'll make a list and I'll put out some gameplay video and we'll see what we can do. Um, ultra rares. Yeah, it's an ultra rare. <laughs> 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 ah, I don't want to give Konami any more money. Uh, speaking of ultra rares, we have a few more semi limits. Right. Uh, ABC Buster to two. Which oh, would be good for your ABC. Jake, deck. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> two, two. All right. It's 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 doable. Yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, Trickstar Light Stage to two. Oh, Another two, one two. of. Was it? It was that one. Ew. Don't do that. Ah, uh, fair. It's a two in TCG. Yeah, fair. L- legitimately, when I was deck building the other day, I was like, I'm only going to play two Light Stage. Three seems pricky. <laughs> Didn't <laughs> yes. even realize it was two in the bandits. Also seems illegal. My opinion <laughs> of Maxi. <laughs> Didn't even think about it. I could have gone to New Zealand with three in my list, and I was been like. I'm playing three. <laughs> what fine. the fuck it's you gonna fine. do about it? Um, also to two, we have Red Reboot and Pancratops. Okay. 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 Going. Yeah, right. And I made the statement as if there were no more semi limits, but I lie. Uh, uh, even more. Spiral Quick Fix. This is, a, this is oh, the last of the no. There is a million gods to wait, two every wait, list. Wait. What else does Spiral? Master Plan is banned. Master Plan is still banned. So that's fine. That's it's just setting up link okay. things without being Everything broken. can be at three of Master Plan's banned. Yes. Yep. Uh, double Iris to two. Oh. It's a three in TCG. It doesn't matter. That, you know what? You know what's really funny? In the Van diagram of Blaker and Jacob, the, the overlap was that deck. Pendulum Magician. Yeah. yeah. Specifically that deck where we were both like, yes. And that person playing it is a baker. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Dub Red. Uh, and Orcus Tarpora. 
Oh, that's 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 more your it's great news yeah. for me. Yes, okay. Uh, especially because it's a rare. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Oh. But the issue with that deck is Galatea. Like, you can loop the harp. Having double harp is, like, neither here nor there. But you've only got one Galatea. Right, so you so do it So if your Galatea you gets go... fucked off, you're just like... Eh, ooh. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, and then, finally, coming off the Banley store together... what if your Galatea gets Book of Moon by a Flanderous player? <gasps> Shit. He didn't consider that, did you? Yeah, no. Oh, my yeah. God. Shit. So another reason to play Book of Moon. Can't overlay being on top of that Link Monster. Fuck. What am I going to do? Yeah. Um... I could use uh, the freshly unlimited beginning of the end to draw some cards. You could. What? Beginning Even of the end is a three. Was it not at three? No, it got limited, remember? No, no, they're just bringing it up that it's at three in case people forgot. Yeah. And of course, like, it was hey, something other than three. See, see this card that you can't see? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nathan Gaddis got so that card s- limited. That huh. one man got that card limited. Huh. It's so sad that, like, in normal artworks you can't see it because when you do see it... It's super nice. It's a very beautiful artwork. But they just decided that in... Unless you had like... Uh, so the oh. background's going to be black and also the artwork's <laughs> going to be slightly less black but also black. Yeah, and the lines in it, black. <laughs> and finally, uh, Harmonizing Magician to three. Oh, okay, more. Yes. All right. What else does that deck more. have? I guess it... It's still only got one Astrograph. Uh, sure. One Electromite. I mean... But I it has uh, the Starving Venom that copies Electromite, so effectively it's a two. I don't remember ever playing that deck with Electromite. What, Pentel Am I Magician? stupid? There yes. was a period of time where it was available for. But was it that y- at YCS? I don't think. It no, was. we didn't have it at YCS. Okay, that was okay. the only reason why Pendulum Magician wasn't like doing, fucked, like as well as Spiral. Yeah. Okay, it was about to get it. Yeah, and they were about to lose Spiral. Yeah, uh-huh. that that deck could actually be like really viable. It sets up a lot of interruptions. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. Very interrupty, especially in a best of one format where you can't be anti spells or Skull Imperial combat. ordered. Uh, three. Uh, I think it's a two or three. Okay. Right. It's available. It Pend has like no anything it needs to get to its stuff. Who cares about Monkey Ball? Yeah, Monkey Ball was gone before we even like got the... <laughs> To be fair, it would actually be a problem. So uh, also in Master Duel we have the uh Synchronic Z Festival coming up. I think it started as of today. How did we not already do this? Because it, this is we did them We did them separately. Now we do them. Now it's two. together. Then we get the Link and No Extra Deck Festival. Do you know what I think this is? Oh, wait, no. I'll take that back. Never mind. Lincoln. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that. No, um, actually, I contribute someone festival. No. Um, so, <laughs> three no learner decks as per usual. No spell festival. What, what, huh? that, everyone just play fucking paleo. Yeah. No, what if they did a festival where it was only monsters yeah. and everyone was allowed to play just three seconds light? Uh, yeah. Goki control? With no Goki rematch? Burning Abyss. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, true, yeah. No reborn anything. Yeah. BA Make Flunder sense. I think the answer no, is you just play like three axes where where map three axes <laughs> Burning Abyss three axes Burning Abyss uh, Burning Abyss yeah cringe um, anyway uh, there's abyss. three loner decks as per usual with this one of them Sword Soul one of them Ghost Tricks for reasons I don't fucking understand that deck's atrocious and then I can't remember the other one I thought you liked Ghost Tricks yeah Jake likes Ghost I Tricks I like them but I'm willing to admit that they are fucking terrible <laughs> fair I, I, I was aware that they had a link monster that could be used with sets. That's cool. When does this come into effect? Uh, the Synchro Disease Festival started two No, days. I don't care about that. The list. Uh, 30th. In a month. 10 days. All right. I can, I can do some theory crafting. It's the season. Season. There is time. Um, mm. Yeah, but they had a third deck. Um, and yeah, I'm not super into this festival, but oh. I have Sword Soul, so I'll probably play it to get the free gems and then I'll fuck off. I haven't played any festivals. Apart from one. I yeah, you played the Highlander one. Yeah, that one. Highlander yeah. Festival. So now I have to, like, kind of move my attention more to unlock the shock. Mm. Yeah. Mm. If unlock we it. Yeah. What, are there any level threes that, like, would make it problematic? Shock? Yeah. Level threes. What? Is it level three? Is it like three level threes? Three level fours. Three level fours. Three level I fours. would hope it's fours because if it's three level threes, PK would have a fucking field it's day. Skip. Yeah. It goes skip. Yeah. The issue was when two of them go skip because then you have a really bad time. I want a Flunderous Extra Deck Monster. Um, that would oh. have to say this card is not treated as a special summon. Yes. And that's okay. Um, what if it was um two M pens? Yeah. 
Um, and they form a corner. Not hugely in, <laughs> not hugely impactful either. But along with the um, spellbook uh, structure that's available, they are also releasing a spellbook uh, field, the spellbook star hole. Actually, it looks quite nice. I do not care. Oh, yeah. Give me my Medolce. Shut up! I Not? want my Medolce field. No. Oh wait. I'm gonna get oh. hungry while oh. I play Master oh. Duel. Oh, I just remember the other deck. It's Medolce. Hey, Medolce. No more women. Classic synchro summoning deck. No more women. Exes and synchro. Not what? No. Yeah. No. No. But it's a synchro and Exes festival. Tiramisu. You don't have to do both. Tiramisu. Why not do both? Sends your cards because back then to you. you'd just be playing virtual world. <laughs> What if we normal summon effect Vela and then go synchro? Don't do that. Why not? I want to make high speed red Chambara. <laughs> oh yeah, because because fucking Medolce have so many problems OTKing that you need a Chambara. Shut up. Terry Masu you send your cards back to you. You can use Hootcake and uh, effect Vela for. Uh, That's not what Hootcake's for. Stop. Hootcake Hoot go bong bong bong. Does anyway. does, does, <laughs> does Hootcake have the bongo drums? Am I fucking <laughs> no? So, does he not? Who cake is famously not playing drums? <laughs> no, surely he is. <laughs> he plays those cake that cake like a drum. Medol Medol. <laughs> it's in the cake. I feel like that's. <laughs> I feel like that's innuendo. <laughs> Medol. No cake like thing. a drum. Oh no! I thought his children were drums. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Drums. Yeah, that, that's on me. He goes. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> yeah, that one's on me. Medokul. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on to the physical card game. Which one has drums? Have... What? It's, oh, it's Hoot Cake. Hoot Cake has the drums. Okay. None of them have drums. <laughs> Hoot Cake has the drums. <laughs> hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot. <laughs> oh, it's altered art. That actually yeah. looks really nice. Anyway, moving on to actual news. Uh, we have two alt arts and two uh, <laughs> new cards that got announced. Neither of the new cards I care about. But the alt arts are uh, Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede, which is like a... Uh, I spit. Trains, hoot -do. A trains card. <laughs> a card. And, more importantly, uh, House Dragon Mate. Is pretty nice. Hmm. <sighs> I don't Stop! Shut up! Lot. Shut up! Stop! Dude. I don't. <laughs> no more. No more. No more women. This card get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Better get printed as old. <laughs> <laughs> that's all, folks. Better be an old. Better be an old. No, it won't be. No, I just wanted an ultra so it matches the ultra issue. Because like, fuck playing tin prismatics. If you play play tin prismatics, you're a player. Pleb. On to cards people care about. Um, the <laughs> the Shitari La, the new archetype which we announced a little while ago. Uh, I, rank keep, seven. I keep calling them Shangri La because that's what the BXE is called. That's what the BXE is called. Is it okay? All right. I thought Ben was. Oh, well, they changed racist. the name, didn't they? It's Kestra La, isn't it? I still have it here. Kestra La, Shitari La. Why aren't you pronouncing that K? Because it's clearly silent. No, Where's the K? Where's the K? Kestra La. Oh. Actually, Jake might be right. I think that's. I think it's that one. Look, Jake thinks that you pronounce everything in a French way. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I will not be criticised for pronouncing things the way. In, in saying that, that, that means he should retreat on his opinion a little bit more. But I don't. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. I'm very Napoleon in my yeah. ways. If I'm French, um, anyway. What if Jake is just Napoleon too? What? Like, Napoleon? Did he die of gastro? Yeah, Napoleon's pretty old though. though. Who's older, Napoleon or Jake? Shut the. I don't know yet. Boy. We'll have to ask. <laughs> Soldier boy. Wait, did. <laughs> did, did Napoleon die before Soldier Boy? <laughs> I don't care. You, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm going to okay. last longer than your <laughs> jump pass, so shut the fuck up. True, but uh, viewers, listeners, uh, comment below who's older, Soldier Boy or Jake. <laughs> the, the results will shock you. Uh, so they get a level 4 of the special summons itself, yep. um, and then you're locked into Xyz for the turn, the deck doesn't care. <laughs> Um, and then if it's summoned, uh, banish one of the archetype from the deck uh, and top three cards of your opponent's deck. And if you do, it becomes a level seven, and all the things predicate on rank sevens. But uh, if I verse tier, they laugh at me. They haven't even gotten with the good card yet. The g ignore good but, card. But I don't want to ignore my. <coughs> no, 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 no. The good card. The good card say fuck you, throw it. Go uh, fuck yourself. Also, fuck you. um, I do believe I said banish. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Good card. The good card go. <laughs> what the good card do, Jacob? He hasn't um, got the good well, card. Well, let's just get to the good card. Yeah, so let's get to the good card. Uh, good so card, they, real good. Uh, so they get a new XZ. They already had one, the Shangri La. Uh, so this one, um, Isn't if that you a, like a hotel in Fiji, Shangri La is like the it's a map in Cosmos, isn't it? It's definitely a hotel in Fiji. I mean, it, 
There's it a hotel in every country in the world. The Shangri La is like the most common oh, name for cool, a hotel. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. All right. Um, anyway, like, you, Seb sent me a photo. Shangri La <laughs> wants me to explain the good card. Oh, it's drama. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so if you've used the previous Xyz effect uh, that turn, you can just put this onto any um, Shatari La monster. What? Yeah, it basically becomes zoo if you've used the main yeah. Xyz effect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you can uh, keep it in mind. They all just free summon. Uh, while it's on board, it is Macrocosmos. Anything that would be sent to the grave is banished. Yep. Uh, you just go Macro. Uh, once per chain, each time a card is banished, add a banished card to this card's material. Uh, that's either player. Um, and then once per turn, quick effect, detach material from this card, target a card in the field, banish it face down. Card once per turn? Once per turn. Card pretty nice. That then card can be fat. Card oh, yeah. Nice. It again. Wow. Yes. Um... All they right. get a bunch of spells and traps they're, as well. They're like, like main monster, by the way, is just a staple three of in every deck, or staple minimum two of in every deck in the OCG right now. It's just effectively a Pancratops that searches itself on summon. Ooh. It searches anything, but can just search itself. So you're just like, summon for free. Add another copy. You added that one, summon for free. Mm. Uh, is it this one? No, no, no. no it's, uh, right. it's previous support. Oh, so yeah, we're getting it sooner. Fanfare. This is, yeah, this is the, this is the extra support. Same Fen- set. Fenfear, set. Now, Fenfear isn't the next set that we're getting. It's in Darkwing Blast. It will be just a staple three of buy. Really expensive card. <laughs> um, this is just what supports it. On top of this as well, we do get... Um, you've got effectively two crossover monsters because this is all to do with the Visa Star Frost mo- uh, archetype. Still in that fucking lore. Yeah, we've only just started that law. You're uh, whinging about no, Albaz. Thought, it's not Albaz. Isn't that also no. Albaz No. So it's relevance is no. Albaz law. No. I thought it was. No. I'm happy then. Good. Give me Shut more up. Vista Star Frost, please, for the so, next three years, apparently. <laughs> so we get one that belongs to Scareclaw, which I still don't understand what it does, and one for Tier Element. Um, the Tier Element one is a little bit of a neg, but it's also pretty good. Does it actually work in Tier Element, or does it banish everything? Yeah, no. Um, so during the main phase, quick effect, special summon it, and then if you do, banish um, either a Shatari La or a Tier Elements from Hand or Grave. And if it's normal or special, it's send top three cards of either deck to the graveyard. And then if it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you send the top two cards of your deck. Cool. Okay, so it and it's also the right type. It's uh, oh, it's water psychic. That's not ideal, but it's got tier element in the name. So I don't know. You can't eat till yet, so you don't need to. Fuck it. Eh. It's another name. True. Sometimes all you need is a name. Sometimes maybe name, sometimes maybe not. Sometimes. Um, speaking of Tyrell, though, uh, name, they also get a field spell at uh, the same point. Tyrell, the... what? Yeah, because they, yeah, they get a second field. They spell. They just got limited on their other field spell in Konami. Immediately yeah. the next day was like, "Don't worry, oh, chief, sorry guys." Got you. Here you, go. <laughs> you make it sound like they designed it on the spot. They're just like, "They did." Fuck. No, they didn't. This card kind of looks rushed. No, it doesn't. Look at the art, Jake. It's Mermels. Who? <laughs> in a cloud. Mermaids. Oh. They're not in a cloud. It's fucking mist. Water. Mist. Less laziest. No, that's the clouds. Of oh, the sky that's behind a, them yeah, because that's they're a in the water. Upward shot of the of the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not gonna say that. Um, so anyway, Jake was gonna <laughs> reference that he likes upskirt shots. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna Jake, say yes. The Jake perfect camera angle. Enjoy a... your anal beads. Shut the fuck up. Jake is a perfect. Hey, I'm so not this... a cheater. Yes, you are. How um, dare you insult me? So, um, does the same thing as the normal field spell. <laughs> I cheated when that. I was 12. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, fusions into elements gain attack. Things. And then, if an aqua tier element monster is sent from deck to grave, send another aqua monster. Uh, but if it's not a tier element, you can't use its effects. So, if you send one, you get to send another. You can't send swap from. You can, but anything. you can't do it. Yeah. Oh. Sad times. How my froggy boy is gonna do anything without with one swap frog now and a banned fucking Ronan Toten? No, you're moving on to Shatari Lab by the time it affects you anyway. Who said I'm moving on to that deck? You are. No, if if I have to pronounce it that way, I'm not playing it. <laughs> I mean, it's, you don't pronounce anything else right, so play whatever the it fuck. It already you has like. its name changed for us anyway, so it's irrelevant. We're having a pointless conversation. What's the name change to? Don't care. <laughs> it, it's not so that. you don't care what nah. it's changed to, but the, you care the, how you'd have to pronounce a name. The new name is pretty dumb. Oh, is it shocking? Yeah. It's yeah, it's like crap. Okay. Yeah, not great. Um, but that pretty much concludes us for news at the moment. So we move on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. See. So our first question tonight. 
Ooh, we got another one since I last checked it. Damn, no, you guys are like pulling through. Someone was commenting in the section below whether or not Jake is older than Soldier Boy or Soldier Boy is older than Jake. And you know what? Stay tuned next week, they'll tell you. We'll reveal it. Yeah. Spoilers, I am. Ble- hey! Bleep that. Bleep that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Good. Man ruining next week's podcast. How dare you. I will actively ruin it for the rest of the pod. Uh, first question comes from <laughs> Six Sight Six. Yo! Um, why don't OCG decks... Uh, oh, OCG deck lists, rather, mm. uh, do well in the TCG. Because we're fucking stupid. No, are they just... I think, yeah, yeah, different format. Different format. Um, are they just fundamentally not prepared to deal with the difference in ban lists, or is a deck built to win better than a deck built to not lose? Uh, That's I don't think it, it's better... Six start six hit the nail on the head, but it is there is yeah. that mental difference of the yeah. OCG just play the game decks is fundamentally that they don't play lose. different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they play different. So, the adjustments in ban list are a big one as well. If you're playing a deck not to lose and your opponent is playing a deck to win, you will probably lose. The other thing is, um, we kind of <coughs> solve decks faster than they do because uh, we they just three get months to yeah. Live. That's the thing. They get it dumped on them. We kind of go. Well, how does this work? What does it actually want to do? While they're trying to figure it out, Konami's trying to shoot it in the head. Yeah. So, yeah, it gets a bit messy. But, yeah, we get a lot more prep time with an archetype uh, before, like, we actually get it as well. So they get True. an archetype announced. We get to look at it for a lot longer before we actually get to play it. However, sometimes we don't get to do that, and they give us TCG exclusive archetypes that fucking stay around for 10 years. Fucking burning abyss. Bin it! I just, I just want to be Why? It's because, like, do you know why, Jake? It, for principle. For principle. Ban Dante, put him on the list, and just say, bad, sit in the corner. So, why don't they just do rotation at that point? If it's just... No, 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 just Dante. Archetype, no, 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 no. It's just Dante. I just want that idiot on the ban list. It doesn't He didn't be. see the ban... Anyway. But yeah, so that's a good example of when we didn't get prep time, and the deck just takes over. Beatrice is still at one. Yeah, but Beatrice got put to one not to do with Burning Abyss stuff. Beatrice could be at three, no problems. Is Beatrice still on the ban list? I'm no question either. It's still a one. Is it? It might be a two. I don't think it necessarily just needs to be there at all. It could just not have been there and I wouldn't care. It's not about you. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't think 2022 is the year that walking across a YCS and seeing someone with three Beatrices on the table is a problem. Uh, It is at one. It's still a one. It's unnecessary. If, if my opponent drops a second Beatrice on me, I'll be like, ah, that's fine. Yeah. I'll allow it. <laughs> so moving on what from Beatrice. What about a fourth trade in? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Technically it was six. This question comes to us from Cobra5. Uh, is, uh, have you ever played or currently play a deck at your locals that is not meta or rogue, but you still play it because you just want to have fun with it? No. Yeah, Blake just sort of plays the decks that he wants to play. But also you could put... Pull- Excuse me, you could put Flunder in that list. Yeah, yeah, that's that's You'd be fair. Wrong. It's yeah, yeah, look. Me. Why me? Oh, I don't know. I was no, coming you, to you for you're just playing a good deck. I want to go to you next. Oh, I play random shit all the time. Yeah. I yeah. get bored of what I'm playing in Yeah, day. but is it because you like it or just because you need content? No, I just like variety. I won't lie. Recently it's become more of a thing of me of like I just don't want to buy it. I just don't care. So I buy it and then I'm like <laughs> if I could just normal focus. summon a barrier statue and get to the same place that buying like Sword Soul on release would have got me, I'm like, eh, alright. Look, buying Sword Soul on release got me to top of regional by just being brain dead, so. Same. Summon Floodgate. I used five cards in that extra deck that entire tournament. <laughs> I used zero. I dropped a uh, shifter on people uh, in my last two rounds of top of the regionals. It's only Shifter. Shifter does win. Better. Imagine playing Prank and uh, you're in your winning, like you're in the final what? game XO at a fucking regionals, and your opponent goes Shifter lol. Game two, Shifter lol. That didn't happen to me tonight against Andrew. Thankfully, Shifter does go lol. Uh, I do. Man was I do angry. Again, but that's right. What if I? What if I, The next regional I play Crack Flund up, except I switch the D barriers for Shifters. I, if you're playing into this format, I thought Shifter would be mandatory. Yeah, exactly. And like, Debo, like, Trailerman has too much variety. They can play around, it's not having fusions. They can still ATK you. Yeah. 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 It's um, good into Sprite, but I guess you can cite it. Um, but yeah, the go to for me is generally uh, Mech Knights for like a fun non meta deck. Mech Knights. Got em. It does the team. It just. 
every so often people forget about how columns work and then mech knights just sort of creep yeah go, have you ever considered off. playing mystic mine no in your mech knights never why not because card cringe your stuff leave field yeah and then come back <laughs> come back on their turn or your turn uh stand by face their turn my turn exactly i, I don't know i just don't rate it like mine i leave the closest <laughs> goodbye the closest i've ever come and it's a play that i saw online is like you do sort of standard mech knight um setups with um gisu um but then instead of like bouncing away the token when you link off like you link off the link to key ma key master or whatever mm -hmm. it is summon um secure gardener and then you use the link to's effect to spin back your own secure gardener and then they've got a token and you just have mystic mine that's the closest i've ever come to it do they have they bounce his cost they bounce his cost no they target his cost damn yeah. And by they, I mean one. <laughs> yeah, okay. In yeah. move. Yeah, it's not ideal. In move. Uh, next question from Crobat5. Uh, is Have you ever used a card in your deck that is obscure or that no one else has heard of? Um, yes. He plays one in his mech lord called Margin Trading and Debunk. Um, oh, deep, I know Debunk. Debunk could be funny in this format. Um... In Paleo, I used to play fucking, um, everyone was playing Fiend Comedian, so that doesn't count. Um, it was the fuck over Jaker. What was the card? Um, it's a guy on a computer screen. Like, You've brought this up before, and you yeah. called it something, and then it was not that thing at all. Yeah, it's computer screen, it's overworked. So it's, uh, banish three fugitives from your opponent's extra deck. <laughs> 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 I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, on <laughs> yeah, banish three. <laughs> on um, <laughs> on Master Duel the other day, I was versing uh, Flunder, and I'd set up like a cracked board with um, the uh, what's it called, branded Despia. Um, negated like the first summon, he sets one passes. I draw for turn, and then in the draw phase, he flips non fusion area. I was like. You son of a bitch. <laughs> hang on. What the fuck? That's not what that's meant to do. Yeah, hang and on. And without... Because at that point I wasn't playing any spell or trap removal, so I had nothing to be able to get rid of it. So I was like, this is a steady slope to me getting completely fucked over when an M pen hits the board. <laughs> what overwork? What's overwork one? Destroy each monster whose attack is higher than its original Then it's not that then. There's one that's just like banished right. fusions. <sighs> oh, what was, oh, yeah. Overwork was for Zoo. Because all the zoo monsters had different attacks to the original attacks. So I feel like if you'd ever played that card against me, I would remember it. It'd be like yeah. ingrained into my mind. So clearly it never worked for you. No. Paradox played, Fusion. Um, no, not, surely not. Uh, Fragment Fusion. Why did I play that card? I don't which know. Ever, whichever card this it was. It wasn't to screw me over, or if it did, it didn't work. No, um, I legitimately think it was because there was like one dude running around playing Fluffle. It was, I think it was Chaz. He was playing Fluffle, but like, Sheep was just annoying to out. So I was just oh, like. Oh, Sheep was get annoying rid of to sheep. out. Especially <laughs> no when sheep. someone lied to you about the fact that it only comes back once per turn. Yeah. <laughs> no Sheep. Get rid of Sheep. No Shep. Do you remember if um, it's a spell or trap? It's a trap. It's Blanton Pay and Paleo. It's a trap. Um, also, the Chain Disappearance. Normal, oh, su yeah. normal Summon Alistair, Chain Disappearance. I've the huge, that summon rat, the chain huge revolution is <laughs> over. The. The only issue with that is like if you get invocation in the grave, it no longer matters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was relevant. Yes. However, chain disappearance. I'm fairly sure there was one time where I chain disappearance you, and you were like, "Ah, discard invocation," and I was like, hmm, "That's a thing." <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> this thing that I've set up is now ruined. Yes. Um. So, <laughs> a card that I use. Um. I think the most obscure card I've used is probably summoning curse. I use that in uh, Metaphys. It's like um, every time either player special summons a monster, they have to banish a card from their hand. Yeah. So it just whittles away resources. And then, like, it's a pay life points or destroy it kind of thing, but it's not Imperial Order. You can choose when you get rid of it. Okay. I can't. I don't know, bro. I, 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 I could go get my Trap Liner, but I just tidied it the other day and I'm fairly sure it's not in there anymore. <laughs> See? I stopped playing Alistair, you're like, mm, I don't I'm going it. to get a trap one. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Wait, what's the context of this trap? Um, he played it to uh, fuck fusion decks, and apparently all it does is just banish three fusion monsters from your opponent's extra deck. Huh. It'd what? be old as shit if it specified fusion. I've, like, Googled everything to do with this. I don't think that this card is in here anymore, because I... Like, I don't think that card exists. <laughs> I'll find out what card <laughs> is. Comment down below. Continue with the podcast. Well, yeah, the... I've got it. Success probability zero. That's it! Yes! What, what's it called? Success, Success probability zero. Oh, I've got heaps of those. <laughs> here it is! Send two, two random, random fusion monsters, monsters from your opponent's fusion deck to the graveyard. No nice. Fusion deck! <laughs> no <Nice. laughs> Here it is. It was Computer Man. Yeah. Computer. He's, he's <laughs> in a computer. It's got the old, like, oh, this card is old as piss. Why has <laughs> it got the line there? It's also right next to Overworked. Uh, Same that? character. Wait, it's before and after. What's that? Hey, it? hey, ready? S O I. Oh, um. Shadow of Infinity. What? It hasn't been oh, eroded because it this, hasn't been played. Yes. This. Magic Deflector. Magic Deflector was also, lit. This is just like my old Paleo stuff. Fiend Comedians. Yeah. Ma overworked. Magic Success Deflector Brawls. was amazing. Here's the metaverses that I couldn't find. <laughs> Chain Disappearance. Um, Rebound. <laughs> Mystical yeah, Wrath Panel. Mystical Wrath Panel. Nowadays you'd send them into this. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe uh, Mystical Wrath was... Panel. Your opponent banishes 10, you draw 2. Get out. I still love the fact that that card got hyped up so much and just never It went never to like play. $60. Uh, tonight, Andrew dropped an unexpected, an unending nightmare on me. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I lose. Yeah. You can just use it as many times as you like, right? Yes. And paying a thousand? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Bra, 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 bra. It's card, it was my card advantage day. Oh, that <laughs> fucking awful thing you yeah. put together. That was it, so it, bad. That was the only result of one, one game. <laughs> that deck was um, a travesty. <laughs> I've been using my imperms lately, clearly. Yeah, clearly. Oh it's, my god, really okay, I've got one, I've got one. Because this is from when I was so bad at the game, and I can't believe I went X2-1 with this deck. I'm, I'm so bad. At YCS Sydney, in uh, Pepe format, I played Mound of the Bound Creator, <laughs> because yeah, I would that. summon a kaiju and it fulfilled the requirements so I could just beat over Pepe and they had no way to out the kaiju oh because they couldn't target it and yeah. you'd be doing a thousand damage yeah. every time you hit something Ben stopped on a page for some reason I'm just flicking that um, so that one was in reviewing that deck list fuck I was terrible and if I'd actually been good back then I might have been able to like scrape a top 32 but uh, but that does conclude us for tonight uh, we have out of questions so oh wait hang on Sorry, take that back. If uh, no, no, someone put in a question, but into the wrong put bit oh, of the chat. So. That was me. I was asking why no, not you about my success these. probability zero. Bro, I send two random okay. fusions. <laughs> Your opponent has has to go. But wait, these are all my fusions. How does this? Yeah, how does this work? Yeah, with deck knowledge, like private. How does yeah, it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. You should play it. I, yeah, I feel like that card, like if it got played in a normal tournament, the judges would all have to go, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> For probably rule success prob. Yeah, they would have to go through the deck, I guess. Well, that one says fusion deck specifically, yeah? Does yes. It? Okay, because when I looked it up on like the um, card thing, it said extra deck. Okay. So it has been updated somewhat, yeah. but still <sighs> not correctly. These are all say fusion deck. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the question that was outside of the question chat, um, it's a quick one too. Uh, why are prismatic rares, to quote Jake, bad secrets? Is this a snub on the paws? Yes. <laughs> the paws. What? The uh, paws. Although I will, swine. I will say, depending on the card, it's not always poor. Like I put up a, um, one of the tin Dark Magician girls for auction last night, went for $70. It's just because they are petulant noobs. Oh, uh, the paws! Yes! <laughs> I did spend $350 on a set of prismatic anti-spell fragrances for that YCS. That's a bit different. That is a video game promo. Video games are for paws. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about, how do you, Ben? How does Rich Ben feel about uh, DDS? DDS is for paws. Okay. DDS Blue Eyes, I spit on that. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my cultured gentlemen play with only the platinum ones. The ones made of actual metal. <laughs> the, the, the we can afford to pay the soldier. judges to allow us to use them in our decks. Fair. Come, Jacob. We must go and play Bache. <laughs> Bache. 
that will conclude us for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, feel free to jump into our Discord, uh, say hi, ask us questions for next week. <laughs> Drop um, us your crazy cards. Uh, yeah, um, by all means, tell us about your obscure poor, art cards. Poor, yeah, yeah. poor, poor. It's fair, sir. Okay. Mm, better be. Thank you very much for watching, and good night. Don't be poor. If you... No, I mean, someone looking at the opponent's hand, yeah. and then you aim Do, the bead. Yeah, the, yeah. If the the there's, 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 there's a hand trap, it's one vibration. No, I was going to say, learning Morse code is shit. I guess, do they have near yes or no, and you give them the yeah. line. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit, all right, uh, four summons, I'm good. I'm going to four. Yeah. No, you just say, income, you just start with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thinking, so I play uh, around uh, Ash. Okay. Are we ready to discuss anything else? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, maybe we should go. just give up having Maybe an this intro. should just be the podcast. Yeah, maybe we should give up having an intro where you just stop. I'll, stand behind our <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have the remote. First person to do the vibrating, not the person to do the vibing. Oh, you put it. So you can put it in your shoe, I guess. Like, that's no, what a lot no. of chess players it's do. It's all about sensitivity. Yeah, up the shoe. You want to make sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, urethra. Find it. All right. If you climax, they have full combo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have full combo! <laughs> anyway, moving right on. No hand traps? Oh, thank god. <laughs>